Hello, welcome to this tutorial on a song. And a song is a particular repertoire piece found in RCN Piano Level Prep B. So let's get started. This is found on page 19. So before we dive in, let's talk about what this song is all about. So if you browse through the whole notes, you notice that some notes or lots of notes have little dots on top or the, below that notes, right? So that's called the staccato. Staccato means that the notes are detached. And what does detached mean? It means it's like raindrops falling on the ground and then bounces off. So it's not like you're jumping on a trampoline or playing the notes harder. You just let your hand drop gently and then bounce off, okay? On the other hand, do you notice that there are lots of small curves over multiple notes? That symbol is called a slur. Okay? Slur means that you're gonna connect those two notes together. So instead of a little bounce off, you're gonna connect them as if there are bees in that string. If you're a girl, you might have made some necklace with bees, right? So those little pieces are gonna be going into the string and then they are held together as a necklace, right? What happens if you let the both ends of the strings go? They're gonna be all over the floor, right? And then that's staccato, okay? So that's really characteristics about this song. There's lots of little bounce as well as the connectedness. So let's find out how it sounds like. I'll play it through once and then we're gonna go back to the beginning and then I'll walk you through uh, every single detail, okay? So this is a whole song. Did you like it? It's such a pretty song. So let's go back to the beginning and then I'll walk you through so you can learn this song just like that. Okay? So first of all, we're gonna pay attention to what key this is in. Why do we need to talk about the key? Just because it depends on the key you're in, your hand position is gonna be different. You might have a few black keys under your finger position or no black keys at all. You have to know which path of the scale you're gonna be using, okay? So this one has one sharp, that means it's in the key of G major. Could be key of E minor, but it didn't sound like it's a minor key, right? So G major is using sharp that's the F sharp so think of all the keys I just play as stepping stones to go across that river okay what happens if you miss the step on the stepping stone in the river you're gonna get wet right so if I missed the step on the F sharp and then play that regular F instead. That means my feet are wet, my fingers are wet. And it's not a really good feeling, right? So that's why it's important to find out which key we are in so that we know which path to stay safe and then dry, okay? Now, uh, let's look at the right hand notes first and then we're gonna go back to that left hand shortly. So. Uh, we know that this is in key of G, so that means the first note in the scale um, is G or so. Um, and then it happened to be using that default hand position for key of G for the first line, so that's easy. Good news for us. So I want you to glue the five fingers from G all the way to D. So la, ti, do, re, that's going to be your default hand position. And then I want you to almost 
glue the fingertips on the top of the keys without pressing down, okay? So your fingers are ready to go, okay? So it's gonna go like this. Start on Re. I might be singing in solfege because I can't sing in alphabet. It's not singable <laughs> syllables. Uh, but if you're not familiar with the solfege, don't worry about that. Just you know my singing. Uh, it's my habit to sing along. But anyways, so it's gonna go like this. Re, re, ti, ti, do, ti, la, la. Re, re, ti, la, ti, do, ti, la. Notice that I was bouncing on the staccato notes and then connecting all the slur notes, right? So I want you to practice that a few times before you go to the next step. Okay? Just pause this video and then practice the, this part at least five times before you get to that next uh, place. Okay, let's say that you practice five times. Now let's go to that next line. Okay, so next line, you notice that finger five is on the first note B. So you're gonna slide the hand position from G position all the way down to E position. Okay, so that means your thumb is gonna be on E, me. Now, important thing is that you don't wanna play this F because it's not a stepping stone for this key of G, right? So finger two has to be glued on the surface of that F sharp, the black key. Okay, so now I want you to glue the five fingers on these keys, starting on E and with B, okay? So don't let your fingers move around anywhere else. Those are the only notes that you need to worry about for the second line, okay? So here's, here's how the second line goes. Again, practice five times before you move on. Notice that last note in the first line and the second line is half note. So half note means that there are two beats inside, two quarter notes inside the belly of a half note. That means the half note is a little heavy. So make sure that you feel the heaviness with your fingers. So dive into the key and then hold out for two beats, okay? That's how the half note feels like, okay? Now, notice that the third line notes are exactly the same as the first line. So we're gonna skip that. And even in the fourth line, all the notes are the same as the second line, so we can even skip that rest of the song. Congratulations, you learned all the right hand notes for the whole song already. So, now let's go back to the beginning and then we're gonna learn the left hand notes. Okay, so, good news is that all the notes are the same as the right hand notes for the first two lines, so we don't have to um, struggle through. Okay, so the first, well, let's start with the, the hand position. So just as that right hand uh, was glued on the G hand position to get started with, I want you to glue the left hand five fingers on the G default hand position. So starting on G, and then end on D. So la, ti, do, re, and then don't let them move around, just like uh, I mentioned earlier. So. Let's sing and play. If you can sing, that's even better for your brain, and then you, you learn songs way faster. If you can sing, um, that's okay. Just follow me along. Did you hold on the half note for two beats? Excellent. And then shift the hand position down to E position. And then remember the F sharp. So now finger four is hopping on that F sharp. So we glue that fingers on E position. And then let's get um, let's get going. D, D, D. This few times before you move on. You can pause the video anytime before you move on to the next section. Okay? 
So let's say that you practice the first two lines and you're ready for that last section for the left, left hand. So notice that in the measure nine, there are no longer the same pattern of quarter notes and staccato or quarter notes with a slur. So we start with a half rest. What does a half rest mean? We take a rest for two beats. Okay? So that's your rest time. And then you're going to play so re, so G and then D at the same time for two beats because those are half notes. Okay? And then you're going to repeat that three times and then end with D sharp. Do you see that little sharp uh, beside that D in the last measure of the third line? Yeah, that's right. So whenever you see a sharp, that means you're going to step up by a half step and then play the higher note, okay? So that means you're going to start with this, so re, and then end with this hand position. This sounds really funky, doesn't it? Okay. So I want you to just practice this transition again and again without your arms looking down and then follow the fingers. I want you to just feel it without looking down. Just like so. Good. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go to that last line. The interval between the two notes in the left hand will be a little shorter. Okay. So measure 13, uh, G and B, so T with fingers 2 and 4, and then so, so La together, half rest again, so T, Do, La, T, that's the end. Okay, notice that Do, La are quarter notes. But so the G underneath the Do is a half note, right? So you're going to hold on the G as you play C and A. And then end with G and B together. Okay. So let's play through from the top of the third line to the end. Just the left hand. Okay. I'll just help help with the counting so that you can feel all the beats including the rest okay rest are part of the music it doesn't mean that music stops there or it's not important okay okay ready go Position change. Great job! This is the most challenging part for the entire song. So most of you might have to focus on that last line with the left hand a little more, but that's okay. You're gonna get it. So just repeat and repeat until you get it and then you're going to feel so good. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. You can rewind it and then watch it again and again until you get it. And then you're going to be super confident with this song. Okay, all right. Um, I will see you in the next video and a good luck with your practice. Okay, bye for now.